Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to talk about filtering lists and just more specifically uh, filtering using infilter. Uh, so currently in Firebase there is an actual limitation when you filter your list uh, and there are more than 10 documents inside your list uh, you actually get an error uh, and let me show you what is the setup uh, for your filters so if you, if I go over here and write filter and just write it over here and say so first thing first on the scaffold I will get users documents and I'll get all the users documents I don't have a lot of user documents there are around 10 right now and then I go to posts and inside posts I don't have a lot of posts posts but I actually want to filter and show only the posts who are followed by uh, the list that I have from users uh, data and this is uh, I'm getting the user's data from from the scaffold and then mapping to the reference so only show me the following uh, the users who are following these posts and I uh, the posts that are followed by those users and you can actually filter the users because right now like I said I'm querying all of users but you can actually have filters so like uh, you can say that uh, only filter the users that are specific topic or or something like that yeah wherever you want uh, it doesn't need to be all the uh all the users it just needs to be list of documents and this is list of documents and this will return a list of documents uh, as well and if you try to run this so let me just try to show you what i mean this is my page in filter you can see it here it's in filter and then if I try to go to this page, oh, actually my uh, my app will blow up. And it is blowing up, like I said, because of this error. I don't know if you can zoom in. Yes, I can. Okay, that's great. So we have this value as list. And then we have that length. And then we have less or uh, equal to 10 in filter support a maximum of 10 elements in the value list so this is the error that you get and like i said this is like a common error for uh firebase it's not flow flow error it's actually a firebase error and uh you uh, can actually fix it there is actually a workaround about it and let me show you uh, the workaround. So if I click on my in filter using CC, which is custom code right now, so show, so let me show you how this works right now. So if I click it here, you actually see that I actually get my posts and those are the names of my posts. Uh, I only output the names of the posts and if I go over here I have two records right now uh, and those are uh, my posts and inside my users data I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 so that means that because I have 13 documents over here that's why it was uh, blowing up the whole app uh, when I showed you without the custom code because it's are the, there are more than 10 documents over here. So that's why it's blowing up. But using custom code, you can actually like over, uh, like, like get around this uh, uh, issue or this error. And I will show you right now how you can actually do that. So let's go and see how I done it. So first thing first, let me show you my database. So I have, like I said, I have uh, posts 
Uh, so let's say with users data actually. So I have the users data and the users data. I'm only using the documents. It it could be users. So in my case, it's users data. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm using actually the document IDs. Uh, this those are the document IDs. And then if I go to posts, in posts I have the date of the post. I have the description. I have follow. I have following. Uh, and this is actually I don't need this data to be honest. I'm not using it right now, so don't 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 get uh, mixed up with the follow. I I will use the follow. Who is following this post? And I have the name of it. I have the user reference and the user ID. So you can just imagine that the user reference and the user ID will be the users who actually created the post. Now th those are different than the following post. So uh i have this the same over here so in my case only one user is following a post but of course in reality you should have like uh, a lot of users following a post uh, and then if i go uh, over here uh, this is my setup so my setup it's uh first i'm go on the scaffold first i'm taking uh, all the posts uh, over here. So I'm taking all the posts. I'm querying all the posts. And then I have a container. And in this container, I'm actually uh, getting uh, all my users' documents, uh, user data documents. And then inside the list view, I actually I don't have anything inside the uh, backend query. Uh, because I already uh, did it. I only want to generate the children. So I'm going to generate uh, a generate dynamic children from variable. And then the variable that I'm using is actually coming from my custom function. So I'm only using a custom function for that. And if I choose a custom function, I'm getting two arguments. And one, one argument is the users, uh, which is coming from my uh, users data and those are list of documents and I have the posts and in posts I have uh, I have list of documents for posts as well uh, and then uh, this is the actual code uh, which is uh, first I'm getting the no safety because if this is no I should check it and return an empty uh, array and then the filtering the actual filtering posts here i'm filtering the posts i'm not outputting all the posts i'm just filtering them uh, and i have posts where and i get the individual post uh, and then i don't need the print ones that's why i deleted and then i have has user following and then i have all the users i'm taking all the users and i'm saying if any of the users and i'm getting an individual user again and i'm getting the user that reference equals to post follow so it's it's if it's following uh this uh if it's following this post then output it uh and just uh, save it inside this filtered post and then at the end i'm returning the filtered post which is in my return is a return of documents list this will be a list of documents and then the type of document will be posts so this is how i done it uh yeah let me save it because i deleted the print uh, value that's why i needed to save it and for some reason actually when i am changing my field of my uh, functions i have to also compile custom code as well i have no idea why is that because I didn't touch my custom code, uh, my not my custom code, but my custom actions and filters and uh, widgets, I meant to say. So yeah, let's go back over here. So I have, like I said, this custom function. This custom functions have two arguments. Like I said, this will be the users who, uh, which is users data. And this user users data is coming from here, from the container. And I have the posts which are coming from the scaffold. And this, like I showed you, is actually returning uh, my two posts. <clears throat> okay, and let me show you one more thing, which is 
uh, how you actually, if you actually want to do the same thing, if you want to filter in using this time the following, which is a list of uh, documents, it's returning a list of documents, like you see it over here, not follow, but following. Uh, and then uh, I actually created a new custom function real quickly. Uh, and if I go over here, uh, it, I just uh, show you. So this is the old one. This is the old custom function. Uh, and I create a new one, which is uh, filter in docs following. Uh, and this is a slightly different custom function. All the code will be available actually in my GitHub repo over here. Uh, and I will just post it in the description if you need it. Uh, and then uh, you, using this code, actually you will filter in the list of uh, documents uh, and not only one, not, not only a single document. So the setup is the same. Uh, I'm here. I'm outputting all the posts, uh, and here I am. Uh, out, I'm querying all the posts, and here I'm querying all the users' data. And the only difference is that I'm using the other. This time I'm using the other custom function, which is uh, filter in docs following. And again, I'm putting all the users. Uh, data documents and I'm putting all post documents and when I go over here to test it you can see that I see both of my posts so this is one of the posts and this is the other post and let me show you uh, what is going on this will actually change in real time so if I messed up my post uh, or if I just add one more letter uh, over here so probably you don't see it uh for some reason let me try let me try and zoom it out zoom it in so like that so now you should see all uh, the titles of my two posts and this is my uh this is my post this uh sorry this is my new post this is the name of um, this new post which is over here and if i change the following and this is an uh a real user's data uh, but if I change it and say five, for example, it yet updated, and now let's see, watch here, it just disappear. And the reason for that is that there is no more in the filter, so you don't have this user document. So, but if I remove the five, update the document, you can see that it appears in real time. This is actually the beauty of uh, Firebase, that the, the data it's appearing in real time. Uh, and sometimes, like I said, there are limitations for so the flow have, has limitations uh, uh, with the filtering, filter in. But right now, using this custom code, you should be actually good to go to use uh, your filtering without any problems at all. Uh, and keep in mind, uh, probably this is already known by you, but keep in mind that, uh, of course, you can actually use your own filters over here. So for example, in the posts, when you're querying the posts, uh, you can use all your filters that you want over here. Just keep in mind when you're using in filter, uh, like I said, so uh, when you're using in filter, uh, which is not over here, but yeah, like I showed you before, let me just show you one more time uh, for the old one, which is here. And then let me show you, uh, it is this one. And here I'm using the filter. So here I'm getting the posts. And here I'm using the filter and I'm using it on follow. And follow, it's uh, this one over here. Uh, but let's, like I said, make sure that um, when you're using in filter, you don't have more than 10 documents. And like 99% of the time, you actually have more than 10 documents. So the user's data will be more than 10 documents. Um, but yeah, if you have more than 10 documents, you can actually feel this, uh, use this technique and use custom code in order to avoid the error like I showed you at the beginning. And before we go, like I said, all the code will be posted in my GitHub repo. 
and like I said, like I'm saying every time, there is actually I'm doing a live session every Wednesday. So if you think that this is something that uh, it's interesting for you, you can join the live sessions by the chat or ask me questions directly. And I actually, uh, I actually preparing a very cool thing for uh, 2,000 subscribers. So right now I have a little bit more than 1,500. So when I reach the 2,000 subscriber, I have subscribers. I have actually a surprise for you guys. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And have a nice day. Bye bye. Take care.